Hello everybody, this is Crazy Daddy and today's video is about identifying a faulty base unit for the Roborock uh, S5. Uh, it's similar to all other Roborocks uh, in how it works so you can use it across all. I had to actually replace the base unit but for fun I will show you a video of tearing down the faulty unit. Let me get uh, the tear down video going so I can keep talking about uh, other issues uh, while the video is playing in the background. I find a lot of people messing around with the screws or not being able to find them. Uh, now, the two screws at the bottom here are the obvious ones where you need to take out. Uh, the one on the right here, when I remove it, it indicates to the service center that I have tempered with a warranty and obviously once I do that, the warranty is void. So when you uh, tear anything down, do be aware that you do void the warranties. Uh, it still didn't open easily, so uh, I suspected it would be under this base uh, non-slip sticker. And I peeled off each corner and I was able to find the screws. I replaced the base station. Uh, I bought it online. It cost me about uh, 50 to 60 US dollars. How do I change the units? Now there's no programming involved. What happens is the robot uh, cleaners go close to where they know the base station is and they look for a unit. You just replace the unit. It finds uh, it just identifies that as the base station and it sets itself to charge. So nothing fancy about it. It is simply putting the base unit where the Roborock is expecting the base unit to kind of cool like the new unit that I bought uh, is black in color uh, so it's, uh, you can see it's a new unit there now first and foremost uh, how I identified the faulty unit I have two Roborock S5s so as a simple test I just exchanged the bases from each one now for one unit I actually had a continuous problem where the unit would move off the uh, charging station. It would keep on uh, prompting me to clean the contacts, you know, check that the power is turned on. So I did suspect uh, the base unit was faulty. So what I did was I just moved both the units off just a bit. I exchanged both the base stations and voila, the problem then appeared on uh, to the other uh, robot vacuum, uh, Roborock S5. So that confirmed that it was the base station that was a uh, problem. I had obviously cleaned the contacts and uh, so I was quite certain uh, it was uh, something more than just cleaning the contact. Uh, rather simple uh, unit. Uh, you, know, you can just slip everything out. The electronics look a bit fancy not worth my time and effort to try to figure it out or try to repair this that's it for today bye